Okay, so in this video I want to talk about uh, counting elements in a list and this is very very common in many of the programming uh, assignments regardless of what language you use. So the, the basic idea is that you have a list of things, it can be any of the list, in any in the list, it can be a list of numbers, list of students, whatever you want to call it. So let's start with the list of say numbers we have. So we have a, a list like this. And then what we like to do is to count the uh, number of elements in this list. Uh, now clearly if you're using Ruby, uh, if you call this list the list, the list.length give you the number of elements in this list. So that's not interesting as uh, at least when we when we're using uh, Ruby. But if you're using other languages, you may have to still do that because uh, the other languages not may not provide uh, something called list of length. Um, so here I want to like to uh, think about a problem uh, where I want to show you how uh, you think about counting. So the counting process begin by uh, stepping through the array starting from index 0, index 1, index 2 up to the index the list dot length minus 1. So as you step through the uh, the array, you have to really think about you know how what what's your criteria. So in my case, what I'm going to think about is something like this. Uh, you give me a low and a high. So let's say that you give me a low as uh, two and a high as four. So what I like to do is to count all the numbers between low and high. So in order to do that. Um, I'm going to start with a counter which is initialized to zero. And then I step through the array and every time I see something between two and four, I'm going to increment the count by one and two and four included. So in this case, after I step through this array, I should get the answer number three. So that's going to be the count. So let's see if we can put this into a simple program, a simple Ruby code to see if this idea is going to work. So I'm going to start with uh, a file called count.ruby and then start a function called count between. And to the count between, I'm going to provide a list and a low and a high. And as I discussed, what I like to do is to start with an initial count of zero and step through the array for i in zero to list dot length minus one. I put parentheses around this to make this computation happen first. Um, so we have that do. And then I'm going to make a condition, check a condition. I'm going to say if list of i is greater than or equal to low and the list of i is less than or equal to high, then, so this says that if it's between those two numbers, including those two numbers, then I'm going to be incrementing the count by one and this is the end of the statement and then this is the end of the for loop. So in this case you check this condition every time you go through the loop and if you find this condition satisfied both these conditions have to be true in order for the count to increase and then you increment the count. And like any function you must return a good number at the end. So in this case we want to return count and and that's going to be the end of the function. So now let's see whether we can uh, test this function. So I will load the count dot ruby, and that seems okay. And then I'll type in a list: one, two, one, three, four, two, two, one. And now I'm going to say count between. Uh, this list is called a. And I like to count between elements that are between 3 and 4. So in this case, I should get the answer 2. Let's make sure that we get the correct answer. So I get the answer 2. 
Now what happens if I count between 1 and 4? Now I should get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Entirely the whole, uh, all of the elements in this, in this array. But if I count between negative 1 and 0, but now in this case I should get the answer 0 because there's nothing between negative 1 and 0. Now am I done with testing? I've done some testing, but I'm not done yet. So I should test for a few more cases. So let's say my array is empty. So what if I count between, I take this B and count between numbers 0. There's nothing there. I count between uh, negative 1 and 100. There's nothing there. That's what I expect. What if my array has all elements the same? 1, 1, 1. What if I count between, I take C and count between 1, and 1. In this case, high and low are the same. So I get 3. That's correct. But if I count between 2 and 1, which shouldn't be the case because I cannot, this means I, it has to be greater than 2, less than 1, and there's no such numbers, and I will get 0. So what if I count between 2 and 2? I get 0. So it seems like I have tested the array with various numbers, various boundaries, empty arrays, arrays that are the same. So this shows you how you want to go about developing your code and testing it with comprehensive test cases. So as long as you have good test cases, like you consider all the possible things, you will have a good program.